Tonight, arson at the airport, a 9-11 memorial torched. So they had opened the stairwell and all you hear is they start screaming about a fire. That is just one part of the crime that hit a military officer hard. I still can't believe that it happened. It's just like I lost everything. Only on Cairo 7, the crime spree that ended with this arson attack. The firefighters looked at that memorial all the time as they trained in that stairwell. And good evening again. I'm Monique McLaughlin. And I'm Dave Wagner. Cairo 7's Lindsay Sheldon is live at Seattle Tacoma International Airport this evening. Lindsay, the damage left behind is very clear. Exactly, Dave. Take a look down here. You can see some of the damage in that stairwell. And now follow me up these stairs. You can take a look here down at the stairs. It says 9-11. Never forget. And then up here, just adhesive tape left behind. There were photos here of firefighters responding to the Twin Towers falling. Now all you see are messages, forever thankful. Never forget, messages left by the public here on the wall. Just take a look at the damage done to this 9-11 memorial at Seattle Tacoma Airport. Photos of firefighters, the Twin Towers, and the flag blackened by smoke. Smoke from the flames that destroyed a military member's bags. But they said when he had opened my bag, he opened my big bag first. And I had my Air Force uniform, I had my boots, I had my, um, just all my gear in there. And he said the first thing he did was, um, it just brought back a lot of anger to him. U.S. Air Force member Monty Ponder spoke with us from Japan today. After airport spokesperson Perry Cooper showed us the parking garage stairwell. Opened it up, had found a lighter actually inside the bag as well too. Lit on fire a shirt. Where Ponder's bags were set on fire on January 30th. Ponder had been filling out a lost bag police report when he heard something on the scanner. They had opened the stairwell and all you hear is the dude start screaming about a fire and flames. And then that's when I was just sitting there. I was like, so there's a fire in the airport? And they're like, yeah. He and other military members had been waiting here for their flight. And Ponder left his bags to go up to the USO. Went back real quick and then I came back in all my... Um, all three of my big suitcases were gone. But poor police were hot on the suspect's trail. This is not a space that you want to be doing something that uh, can be seen on camera. Using their system of cameras, they tracked the suspect to this stairwell and later arrested him. Ponder, who had been home to Texas for a loved one's funeral, lost his Air Force uniforms, clothing, and electronics. They're just burned. And I was just sitting there like I had all my, um, all my favorite jackets, favorite shirts, all my pants, underwear, socks. I don't know. I still can't believe that it happened. It's just like I lost everything. And here is a closer look at where those suitcases were set on fire and all the damage left behind. Port of Seattle firefighters are now looking at all those photos that were damaged to see if any of them can be salvaged or if they have to reprint them all. As for the suspect, 43-year-old Andre Dunson, he's stolen bags here before. He's charged with arson and theft. Reporting live at Seattle Tacoma International Airport, I'm Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.